Hope you're ready. The new Guardians of the Galaxy movie features a character called Mantis. I didn't even know who Mantis was, so I'm learning while you're learning, and we're all gonna learn together. Take it away, Maddie. She has a lot of kick-ass powers. She's an empath, which means that she can, like, read people's feelings, but, like, telepathically. That's really cool. And then she also has, like, strong connection with plants. Woo! Me too! Not like you're thinking. She can talk to plants, Anya. Um, I talk to my plants, my succulents, and I... Do you tell close. them you're going to kill them because your plants die? So this is page the second. This one doesn't really have a name because my dad was like, put one in the kitchen. So this is just kitchen man. This is baby spice. Then this, this little man, his name is Cameron. And then this one's Latte. And yeah, this is page the second, so. And I like to talk to them, tell them about my day. It's kind of like therapy, but they only cost like a dollar. Are you in danger? Please tell me. I can help you. At one point, there was like this really like weird thing. Mantis had a baby with this tree alien and Groot. I I don't know. I think either the alien, the original alien, was Groot, or her son is Groot. And I'm not really sure. Maybe they're like scrapping that whole thing, and they're like, "That's not gonna happen. We're not doing that." Maybe she's there to like help little baby Groot grow into a full size Groot, like translate for him. Yeah, she was part of the Avengers for a while. She was a villain for a little bit, but like the whole arc where she was a villain got like destroyed because everyone was like, mm, "I no, that's not gonna happen." Also, she's jumped between different comics. She was at Marvel. And then she was at DC. And then she was at, like, Image, I think. And then she came back to Marvel for a little bit. But then she went away again. And then she came back to Marvel for the last time. And she's had a complicated history. And then also, one race of the aliens, the Kree, they think that she's the celestial Madonna, who is essentially the most important being in the universe. That's a thing. So I know that, like, in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, at least, the Star Lord's like kind of flirting with Gamora, and then they kind of like get together at the end of the first movie. Is there gonna be like a love interest thing between him and Mantis? Because Star Lord like is with Kitty Pride, and they're I think in my opinion like the cutest so couple. Cute. And they dance oh. in space together, and it's oh. very very oh cute. God. And they're I don't so want cute. them to ruin this. They are. Where is Kitty Pride? They're the Kitty Pride to be in, in Guardians of the Galaxy movies. And yes, but alas, she cannot. Because she is a mutant. And you know who owns the rights to X-Men? Not Disney. <laughs> I'm I'm really upset about that. And there's not So really... are they like scrapping that or she's gonna be like talked about? I guess they're scrapping it. I really hope they're not, but I really also like how Ellen Page did no. Shadow Cat. Why can they bring Spider-Man over, but why can't they bring Kitty Pride? Like, why was there I mean, okay. Okay, well, Make sure to go see Guardians of the Galaxy. I know we will. Our review for that will be coming out soon. That is all for now. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Periscope, add us on Snapchat. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And check back every Thursday on comicmix.com for new videos. Bye!